welcome back to Bodie Moto. Today's video has no inherent direction or topic. I'm just going for a little ride before the gym. Getting the blood flowing. Feeling good. Feeling grateful. Constantly thinking about upgrading the bike. Constantly convincing myself not to. Yeah, this uh this whole motorcycling thing is has been very positive for me in general. It gives me something to look forward to that's very non-competitive. Even though I do plan on getting some track days in whenever I upgrade the motorcycle and get my experience levels up. I think I'm gonna really enjoy track days. But for now, this is just like purely therapeutic. Ooh birds so instead of thinking of like a clickbaity topic or title to use today figured I would just get on the bike and then start talking oh no I hate stopping here I don't know why I always go up this road it's hard to see down to the right because of these trees sticking out over the sidewalk. Oh, it's not too bad. Someone cut it out. The trees used to hang down further where you couldn't even really walk down there. So I had no line of sight. Let's head down Long Lane, go into the Twisit. This was like the go-to place for uh, blunt cruises. When I was in high school and in college, my whole area would go here constantly. Any given time of the day, you'd ride by another car full of kids just passing a blunt. The windows all the way up, because that was when hotboxing was like popular for some reason. When I look at look back at my early 20s, my late teens, I don't know how I survived some of that shit. Not like the hot boxing and stuff, but just the uh, constant new experiences every day. I was just always doing something that I never did before. And it had some kind of impact on my life in one way or another. Like my first time getting really drunk, first time going to a big college party. First time doing shrooms. You know, regular stuff like that. Although I might be taking my ass back to college. To finish up my degree. I started it in computer science. Didn't get very much done. But I spent a solid two years uh, flirting to chicks in the lunchroom the cafeteria area <laughs> the worst thing about college for me personally is I went like I took one semester off after high school and then I signed up the problem was that I could just leave at any time and I had zero discipline at that point in my life so I would just get bored in class and leave the classes that I attended because I happened to like a girl in class or I really I was really interested in the subject I passed all those with no problem but everything else I just didn't show up I show up to class for like 10 minutes and then go to the vending machine or whatever and then caught, get caught up talking to somebody at that point in my life I was like so focused on trying to explore the most social aspects of my life because in high school I was pretty social but I wasn't like super social I still kept to me and my friend group but then once I got to college and the environment kind of like matured a bit I let my guard down a lot more and I was able to just kind of flow around 
and kind of talk to whoever. Like I was way more self-confident and willing to talk to strangers when I was in college than even right now. Like it's not something that I worry about. It doesn't really give me anxiety like it used to at certain points, like in high school especially. But those early college years, looking back at it, it's almost like I was a heightened character version of myself. I both cringe and laugh at the things that I've been through. And you guys have been through a good amount of it too, because I've been streaming on Twitch since about 2016. So you guys saw the, the tail end of it. Those were my bro years when I was going to the gym like twice a day, <laughs> eating meal plans on all these different supplements trying to live the perfect gym lifestyle while getting absolutely smashed at any given opportunity. It is so weird how working out a ton and drinking a ton of alcohol has always kind of coincided in my life. But I think that's just like the superficial attitude coming out where it's like I'm working out so I can look good to go out. But in reality, it was, I was working out, which made me feel good, which made me want to go out. When you're young, you don't really, like, it's, it's hard to have that kind of self-awareness where it isn't all just, no, I'm the man, bro. What do you mean? Because there's definitely a lot of that. And testosterone was flowing. I just looked out at my phone, uh, my phone holder and saw no phone and got scared. I was like, oh no, did I really just drop my phone? But it's in my pocket. Is there a kid driving that car? Oh no, it's right hand drive. Land Rover. That's kind of cool. I'm pretty sure those can be like almost fully submerged. Like over the front hood. One thing I hate about the GoPro and using the super ultra wide lenses is uh I have to get really, really close for you to see things well. Like uncomfortably close. So when I'm pointing out a car or something, a lot of times I can see it with my eyes perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. But on camera, it looks like it's wicked far away. Like these guys are maybe three car lengths away maximum. Two bike lengths, or yeah, about three, four bike lengths away. And it probably looks a good 50 yards. So, you guys gotta let me know if you like the pure sound videos. I know they don't really uh, promote much commenting or talking or stuff like that since there's just a little a, a video of me driving for like 40 minutes or riding, not driving. I still like, get into the habit of calling riding a motorcycle driving. It makes me cringe every time. But if you guys are liking that, let me know. I have some ideas to improve it. Maybe some third person cams. We're gonna do some things for it. Maybe even possibly get somebody to uh, ride nearby with a camera out the car. I think that's more down the road stuff, but that could be really good. Like a trail cam. The problem with that is I'd basically have to pay somebody to ride next to me, but it's not like you'd be longer than an hour. You just show up, film me out the side of the car, I pay whatever the fee is, and we get to go. 
I know I got a lot of ideas. The problem is my ideas tend to be too grand for the scale that I'm currently on. So it doesn't really work. Like I would spend a bunch of money and time and effort and editing and putting all that stuff together and then get like 200 views, which would be nice because it's, it's a continuing on the upward trend, but also it doesn't make any of it worth it in terms of being able to sustain it. So I want to try to make a type of content that I can continually pull out and is possible for me to continue to make. That's why I hesitate with these like top five videos and best ofs is because I can't really make those forever and I don't feel very passionate about them, right? They're cool videos and I like getting across the information, but the thing I'm most passionate about is kind of just sitting here talking with you guys. Just whatever's interesting to me at that time. You know, what's interesting me right now is turning down my idol. This thing has been getting hot in the heat lately. Who would have thunk it? Oh shit. Shit. That's the first time that's happened. <laughs> oh. Damn, first time stalling at a red light. When it went green, that's embarrassing. with a lapse in judgment I turned my idle down a little bit too much so I had to roll onto the throttle a little bit harder when I was letting go of the clutch and I just didn't do that and we stalled I barely need to use the brakes that engine braking so strong parking I always try to park in a way that it makes it some very visible to others which ends up with my nose pointing out at the end of the spot so like just like this boom that way when somebody comes in it won't look like an empty spot, even though it looks a little bit obnoxious since I'm all the way out over here. It'll be better than getting my car hit by somebody parking. Alright. That's going to be it, guys. I'll see you.